Hello everyone. Today let's unbox and fix a solar LED street light. This light can not only be used for lighting the streets but it can also be used for lighting the gardens, balcony or even rooftop terrace. So we can also call it as a cordless LED street light as it is powered by a life PO4 battery and charged with the solar panel. So this box you can see it doesn't have any graphical signs. Only home hop is printed on two sides of the box. And the box is plain but there is no damage it is intact. After opening the box we can see the LED panel inside. LED street light sorry. So the street light is quite big it's not too small. After removing it from the bubble sheet, we can see it has a manual on off switch a sensor, and this is the solar panel. Two bolts have been given for mounting. See, it's made up of plastic, a sturdy plastic, it's not so thin. The plastic is good quality, and this is the sensor for remote. The remote is small, handy. The remote is powered by two AAA batteries but the batteries are not supplied in the box we need to buy the batteries separately so this remote it has functions like on off mode half brightness full brightness brightness control from 10 percent to 100 percent two hours five hours eight hours switching i will explain the functions later so let's continue here you can see this is the street light so it's made up of plastic as i mentioned earlier there is a ventilation given under so when you fix it this way the led is facing down the water does not enter inside company says that this street light it comes with ip65 water resistance water and dust resistance so this is the solar panel the solar panel is of 4.5 watts 6 volts polycrystalline solar panel and for it to be functioning we need to keep the manual switch on before fixing it you should remember that the manual switch is turned on if you keep it off then the unit does not work it neither charges the battery it will be totally off in off mode so if you are transporting it then you can keep it off and transport it here you can see the remote functions on and off this one is for decreasing the brightness of the LEDs this one is for increasing the brightness here it is mentioned as auto but it doesn't work as auto it is for two hours of 100 percent brightness and later the brightness will decrease depending uh, i do not know much about the how much it will decrease to so later i'll come up with one more video if i have to so it's remote it has two hours three four five and eight hours that is all these hours it will work for 100 percent brightness and later the brightness will decrease to maybe 10%. So this is center button is for mode. So if you keep it in mode, the if you select press the mode button, then what happens is the LED lights turn to automatic. That is the center sensor that is radar sensor. It senses the movement on the street or on the in the garden, balcony, etc. and automatically increases the brightness. And after 10 seconds, again the light will go to 10% so these two buttons up and down you can see you can keep it for 50% brightness to save the battery that is to increase the backup of the battery so if you keep it for 50% then the battery backup will automatically increase it will be more so the battery used in this device it is 4.5 amperes 3.2 volts life PO 4 battery 
So let me insert the batteries for remote control. See that the spring side is negative and the other is positive. Two AAA batteries are required for powering the remote control. So now let's test it. Switch it on by pressing the manual on off button. Okay, now the device is on and I'll select the mode to auto. Let's set it. So now auto mode in the sense morning it will turn off and when it is dark it will be on light will glow let me show it to you see here when I hold it to the window due to sunlight it will automatically turn off and the center indicator light it shows that the device is charging so if the light stops then the battery is full let me bring it to down in shade again the light will turn on so in this way the auto mode works see now it's charging I will be fixing this street light on my balcony towards the street so for fixing this I will not be using any fixtures or assembly kits that are available online or in the market the metal ones because they are costing around 750 rupees Indian rupees so if I use a plastic pipe a PVC or UPVC pipe then the cost of fixture will be very less if I buy the online fixtures then it will be nearly half of the LED street light itself half the price of the LED street light so I am going with the plastic pipe which I already had extra piece at my home so if we purchase it from market maybe it will be total fixture cost will be around 200 to 250 so I require a pipe and uh, bend 90 degrees bend I will not be using elbow I will be using bend for a curve and as the pipe is 25 mm and the LED fixture can be fixed on a 30 to 50 mm pipe or something like that so I will be using so here I check the length where I need to cut it so for fixing it here you can see if I fix the pipe directly it will be very loose so I will be using this collar a 1 inch collar a collar for 1 inch pipe you can see so for fixing this band and the collar I will be using an CPUC adhesive actually this adhesive I already had in my store at my garage so I will be using this one uh, solvent C CPUC cement solvent something they call it you can use either APVC solvent cement or CPUC solvent cement. so we need to apply it both on the pipe outer surface and the bend inner surface and collar inner surface in this way as shown now press it inside firmly now after it looks like this so take the LED lamp just loosen the bolts If the bolts are given separately then you can fix it or if they are fixed already like this then you can just loosen them as such the pipe will enter easily inside so after fixing it here in this way just tighten the bolts turn them clockwise I'm sorry as the work is going outside the camera angle so now after fastening the bolts you can fix it in this way I need to clamp it to the wall and the pipe upside I have clamped it in this way here you can see now the LED light is fixed at 180 degrees in this way I need to fasten the nuts we require a 14 mm or 14 number spanner for fastening the bolts 
on the street light so we need to fasten them firmly so that the street light will not turn or not move up or down this is how it looks during the night the LED light it's uh, quite bright it's quite satisfying it's not so dim it has covered quite a large angle of the darkness of the area you can say large it has covered large angle of area so now I will turn it to 50% see this is 50% brightness and once again if I press the brightness see this is 100% brightness so through the smartphone camera I can't make much but there is quite a difference and if we keep it for 50% brightness then the battery backup will also be more the light will be on for more time so according to the company it says that 6 to 8 hours of charging that is bright sunlight will make the street light glow for 1 to 3 days depending upon the mode of usage that is if I keep it for automatic the automatic mode what it will do is it will now you can see it will go to 10% brightness just a moment see if it now it is 10% brightness and if and it senses any movement on the street even the backside movement also it is sensing so when there is some movement it will again go to 100% brightness so in this way the battery backup will be more and if you keep it always 100% then the battery backup will be less so I will try to come up with one more video stating the battery backup in what mode how much battery it gives maybe after a few months of usage I tried two angles of fixing this light one is parallel to the ground the LEDs are facing downwards but the coverage towards street is less and the one more is here you can see I have used a 45 degrees 1 inch 45 degrees to bend and it is covering the street quite far main drawback of using this street light at 45 degrees angle is if you are fixing it facing towards south east or west then the battery will not be charged full only if you are fixing it facing towards north then you can use this angle if you are using it to fix towards facing towards south east or west then better not to exceed 15 degrees better not to raise the street light more than 15 degrees hope this video is going to be helpful for you regarding the solar LED street light if this video was helpful for you kindly hit the like icon share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed thank you for watching everyone have a good time